My name is Kimberly Walden, and I'm the founder of GLM2 Foundation, which stands for God Loves Me Too. And we are dedicated to eradicating the damage caused by sex trafficking and domestic violence by building safe dwelling places and long-term aftercare for women and their children who've been affected by these eternal brutalities. Most people are shocked that it actually happens in our country. They don't realize that it happens every day in every city of every state in the United States. Most of the time, trafficking victims end up going to short-term facilities first, right? And the short-term facilities do an amazing job. However, they're just not long enough. And so if you've been trafficked since you were eight years old and now you're 18, all right, 30, 60, 90 days is not enough to cut it. The human brain actually takes almost 14 months to start working properly again after it's been through major trauma, plus your drug addiction, all of that. So abstinence from that situation, right, takes, you know, almost 14 months, and then you have to deal with the trauma and trauma bonding, Stockholm Syndrome, all of those things. So when you come from the short-term facility, GLM2 wants to offer you a success plan where it's a two-year commitment, a five-year cap, and we want to employ you as soon as you get there through e-commerce. Um, we also put them in an escrow program. After the first year, they will start paying rent, et cetera, back into the facility. And in exchange for a rental history, they basically get to practice life skills in a safe environment, have their children with them, which adds a totally different dynamic. And, but they have a place to do it safely, and by the time they graduate, we've actually set them up to be able to own their own home. It's gonna cost a little over 13 million, but that's with a five-year sustainability. Again, you know, for a business plan, you wanna make sure that you're not just going after that first year. We wanna be able to sustain, and so we are putting ourselves out into the community now with some smaller fundraisers, um, becoming visual in the community, and then from there you go after grants and then after major funding.